studying in DevLab uh, is different with other universities because um, you work in disciplinary teams, interdisciplinary teams actually, and uh, we don't work with, with just people from the from the same education. So what we do here is uh, is with different cultures and different backgrounds, uh, making a real company. It's totally another thing that most probably if you have never been to like a lab like this, you can't really imagine. It's it's mostly about how you really get to be in a professional working field, but you're learning at the same time. And I, I think it's, well, if, if you were to imagine entering into a company to work or in any kind of organizations, that exactly is happening here. It doesn't feel like studying at all. Uh, it's uh, learning by doing, uh, which is a very stimulating way of learning to me. Um, it's great to keep the interest always high and you feel like you're doing something more than studying and meanwhile you're also learning so I feel that even even just working with international people can uh, teach a lot uh, about even the world or even about teamwork and relationships. The best thing of studying in lab is that um, that the projects are real it's, it's not just a project uh, of a fiction something that's made up but it's a, a real uh, challenge that you're working at and uh, when you make it good you can actually start a company out of it and uh, and continue with the project after the dev lab. Game lab, it's all about the group work. Of course, there are the lectures, but uh, most of the time you just uh, uh, work with your teammates and uh, try to make the game. So it's very project based. It's more like a work life experience. Uh, we don't have daily classes or anything like that. And we can sit in wherever we want and have free, free work. Lab studies are really cool because uh, it uh, imitates a working environment and I think that we are getting to know what it's uh, like to, to uh, do things together with people from different disciplines. Uh, in this game lab studies I really like this uh, way of <clears throat> the whole thing that we are actually working on this real game project but we also have lectures, but the majority of this is like a teamwork and doing the real thing. There are a lot of things that we have to figure out ourselves, so there wasn't much known facts that we could rely on or previous success or previous experience in what we have been working on. I really got to put into practice everything I had learned before, and, and at the same time the project that I was working for, it, it really pushed me to learn more about things in my field that I didn't know about, but also things in from other fields. Um, I think it all depends on what profession you're in already. For me, I learned a lot of uh, new design skills, ones that I didn't have in my uh, my home country. Um, not only this, I learned lots of business skills, um, entrepreneur skills, uh, presenting skills, um, also made some friends for life. Uh, I think for me, it's the um, it's getting ready for actual real life. They're actually training you in the way that you're going to be learning in the industry. Uh, rather than normal college where you're given set tasks. These are real tasks. They're awesome. The one thing that I've learned like so much from here is that having to work with different people from different fields and really having to understand from their perspective and and how much um, how much um, work that they have put in into their thing and also for to motivate me as well to to really investigate more or learn more about what I'm, I'm responsible for. And you really have to do it yourself. There's not no one telling you what exactly you have to learn or you have to figure out, you have to know how to ask the right questions from the people that you are doing the project for, for example. Mm -hmm. You have to know what, how, to, how to ask from them what they need and, and how you can do what, what needs to be done. And, and it's all about doing things and figuring it out on your own with the help and support from, from all the specialists that you can find around yourself. Uh, a person that studies in DevLab should have uh, entrepreneurial skills, should be ambitious. Um, Someone who, who is coming up with ideas, uh, who wants to make changes, he, should, he or she should have the attitude to work in a, in a team. If you want to challenge yourself to develop new skills, to know new people, and to d develop projects, and to see that you really can see your work, your work in that project, I think this is the chance of your life to come here. You should join the lab studies if you feel like you need uh, uh, people skills and presentational skills, learn about pitching and uh, teamwork and uh, in general about uh, game uh, 
the game industry. I mean, especially the economy and the uh, uh, monetization and stuff like that, and where the game industry is going at the moment. If you want to know about that, then lab studies are definitely for you. Hello, future lovers. Uh, <laughs> get ready to experience a whole new way of learning and make some great friends and have terrific fun. Be ready to fail, to succeed, to make a change by, by finding a solution to an actual and, and important world problem and just experience the company of, of, a, of a bunch of international wonderful people and, and experience something that you never thought you could experience before. Get ready to learn what it's really like uh, to study outside of college, uh, to actually have uh, some real life uh, problems that you have to solve. Uh, I'm sure you'll have fun. Yeah, welcome to the, the new system of learning. This is, uh, this is how the future of learning is going to be and this is also how working in new companies is going to be. So just be prepared for the best system.